Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to get close-up macro photography shots such as the one I have right now of an assassin bug. And this is a bug that injects venom into its prey and that turns its intestines into this liquid and then it sucks out the liquid with its beak. So here he is close up, you can see its beak. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get shots like that. And all you have to do is hold down the shutter button, get the position you want, and you got nice close-up macro shots. So, what you need first is the right equipment. So I have a Canon PowerShot digital camera this is one of the most recent power shot cameras that just came out um, maybe a year or two ago probably longer than that but it is the latest model the Canon PowerShot SX 60 HS and I'm recording this video with the SX 40 HS so what you need with this camera is this attachable macro lens which is a Raynox DCR 150. They also have a 250 which is another macro lens and these are very nice. I've been using this for many years and these just clip onto a point-and-shoot camera as long as you have ridges along the inside of your lens it just clips onto the front and all you need to do is zoom in towards anything you're trying to photograph and this assassin bug is already on its way out and you can also set it to AV mode and go into manual focus and that will allow you to focus in and out without having to move the camera too much but for macro photography the trick is you can also go to autofocus and just simply press the shutter button and it will focus in if you're in the right distance. So there's our assassin bug. This is a baby assassin bug. It also hurts if you get bit by it as a human, but it's nothing dangerous. So another setting that I use is cloudy and this makes your shot much more green so pay attention to the color of green. This is normal. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. But once you go down to cloudy it gets more vivid and this is something you can do in a photo or a video editing program and you can turn up the vibrancy but you can do it beforehand on the camera so you don't have to do that post editing and you can essentially just immediately upload these videos so I can record this in 1080p at 60 FPS with this camera with this one this one is 30 FPS but you can also take close-up macro shots and the camera that I have on the tripod right now that I'm recording with is one to two hundred dollars on eBay very cheap and the Raynox macro lens that you see on the front of this camera you can get for about seventy five dollars brand new on Amazon or eBay and this is a Japanese lens and as I said there's two different versions I recommend the 250 I lost my 250 I don't know where it is but I'm sure I'll find it later so this is the 150 and you can get close-up macro shots and even videos of all kinds of insects and essentially anything and you can also record high definition 1080p video so this is a great camera and all you're gonna need besides that is a tripod to keep things still this is also an old Japanese tripod my friend gave it to me from the 80s or 90s I think 
or later, but that's all. If you drop drop a question down below if you got any.